morning. Vicky's not here. Yes, I am. Far too chirpy, <laughs> far too early. Where on earth are we? We're at Ballinar bus station. Because we've got to get over to Sligo. Uh-huh. We're uh. going to pick up the train and head back into... Dublin. Yay! But for the moment, and for the next 90 minutes, to the buses? All of... No, well, not all of them. No, all just of them. One. Just one of them, really. Just one. Just, just one. one. Have a little nap. I had a little snooze. Excellent. What are we doing now, Jeff? Make We're meeting the lovely Kieran, aren't we? Gotta meet Kieran. Okay. What do you think Kieran looks like? <laughs> All the stations. <laughs> this, this <laughs> is oh, what gone. is what oh, Kieran. Thanks. Are you Kieran? I'm Kieran. Because if you're not, we're pointing a camera in your face at the wrong man. Work away. <laughs> no bother. <laughs> He's made us a thing. What's he? What? It's a whistle stop tour sure. of Sligo. I think we should do the town tour. This is WB Gates. He came and summered here as a kid. Fell in love here, wrote a lot of poems here. We called Sligo the land of heart's desires. Kieran's leading us heading for the Abbey. The story was that back in the day, you had to go into Foley's pub back there to get the key to let you into the abbey. This abbey has been here since the 13th century. It's pretty impressive. So you're now you're in the new footbridge on the Gar of Vogue and there's a river walk that goes the whole way up that river to the lake, Loch Gill, and it's a lovely walk. Can I ask you a question? You can. Tell us about your hat. Tell us, oh. about, tell us about Sligo Rovers. Sligo Rovers Football Club. <laughs> Best team in the world. <laughs> and I'll say no, I'll say no more. Cut. Cut. We are now on top of Sligo Town near the model and behind us is a, another Protestant church and this is Callery Protestant Church. Mountain. So what's it called? Not in array. I'm assuming you've climbed that once or twice. A few times. Have yes. you sat at the top and sort of contemplated life? I have indeed and then I wondered how am I going to get down again. <laughs> At the station, but Kieran, you told us a brilliant story on the way up. I'm uh, <laughs> nicking this story from Steve Wickham. Uh, he was on the train from Dublin to Sligo one evening, and everything was going nice and cool. And then he got as far as Mullingar, and the usual happened: the passengers got on, passengers got off, and the train took off. Ten minutes later, the train came to a shuddering halt. And then a couple of seconds later, the guy announced that the trainer was reversing the whole way back into Mullingar because an old man had forgotten to get off the train. <laughs> And so is the beauties of Irish Rail. And this is only like 10, 15 10, years ago. 10, 15 years ago. A yeah. world where if you miss your stop, they'll reverse the train to, exactly. let, to let you back off. That's our whistle stop tour of Sligo, Kieran. Thank you. You're more than welcome. So it was a pleasure. It was brilliant. Oh, thank brilliant. You for Loved so it. Much for time. Good. It was cool.
Carrick on Shannon, which looks delightful. But mainly what you need to know is that when we decided to get our train today and we discussed making reservation, so last night what did I do on the website? Uh, you went onto the website irishrail.ie yes uh, irishrail.ie and you booked your ticket and as part of your booking you have the option to reserve and put your name on the reservation I should point out because we have explorer tickets we already have a ticket so you just do a thing where you sort of pretend like you're buying a ticket but then you click an option that just says I just want to see reservation so our names our names are up there up, up, up there do the cutaway up there now, you chose your last name first though, so I'm Marshall Jeff and you're Pipe Vicky. Uh-huh. So could you then give your last name first, your first name last, to cheat the system? Also, I should point out there's an option that just says, I don't want to show my name, tick a box, and it just shows your reservation number instead, which is kind of cool. It's nice to have, a, like, a named reservation. You could have been Ed Sheeran. I could have been Saoirse You could have been Saoirse Ronan, I could have been Ed Sheeran, yeah, we could have just... Should you do that next time? Station. So we mate, are you filming? Me filming you, filming you, filming me, it's the best I can do, aha. So we made a judgment call and the call said Longford yes. for the cathedral. Yes. Make the Vicky Explores. Welcome to Vicky Explores. A cathedral. Now that is impressive. I wasn't expecting it to be that imposing. Wowzers. So already I'm intrigued because it says 1840 here um, on the sign, but I know, having done a tiny bit of reading, that the building that stands now um, is actually not very old at all. And so let's see if we can. Uh, find out some more. So I bought a little book inside that tells you about the history of the cathedral. It was in fact originally built in the 19th century but on Christmas Day 2009 it very sadly burnt down and there's a picture uh, inside the book that shows you just how badly damaged it was. Miraculously they rebuilt uh, the cathedral uh, inside so the external walls I believe are still the original inside they completely modernized it with some wonderful craftsmanship um, and amazing modern architecture it really is worth a look Train, new kind of maquette. Apparently, this is a 29,000. Okay, 
be writing down the numbers. Okay. 29,000. Do you want to get your notebook out? I'll get my notebook out. Okay. Apparently it's noisy. It's a little bit noisy. And it's a commuter, what they call a commuter train? We're now on the commuter network. Okay. And that was Alan. <laughs> Hi Alan. And at Leakslip Comfy, should be a man called Chris waiting for us. Are you here Chris? Are you here? Printed out a sign! <laughs> He's printed out a sign! I did it for you. Are you videoing this too? Yeah, may as whoa, well. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Matrix filming. Whoa. Whoa. Give us the sign, Chris. There you go. Loving it. Have you got a car? Uh, yes, it's parked slightly far down there. Chris, you need to say, to the car. To the car! At Leak Slip, the Royal Canal is here. We have a classic case of navvies digging the way in the railway later coming along going thanks for that we'll just put our rails next to it cheers <laughs> Chris offered us a lift but Chris can't drive so Chris has got his mum to drive so when you say can I give you a lift it was really can I give my mum give you a lift pretty much yeah you stay here Chris we'll just go with your mum okay okay you, no worries. you get the bus go see ya no. go on squeeze in squeeze in that's hilarious <laughs> thanks Chris's mum Thanks, Chris's mum. You're more than welcome. Thank you. Oh, sorry. You enjoy that? Oh, hi. We made it. So in case any of the last few moments haven't made sense, a man called Chris got in touch to say, can I give you a lift between Leak Slip up to M3 Parkway to save us doubling back at Clonsilla? Hello, Chris. Hello. I'm going to ask you <laughs> lots of questions about M3 Parkway. Because you're a local, I expect you to know them all. Oh, fun. How many people use the station every day? <laughs> Basically, it's one of the newest bits on the network. Yes. Am I right in saying it uses a bit of old line? Yes. And the idea is that people are driving down the M3 towards mm. Dublin. They go, rather than get stuck in the traffic jam, I'll park. It's like a parkway station. They jump on and then they get the train in from here. Is it, is it used heavily? It is quite used heavily, at least for the for the working like the working people who work in the Docklands in Dublin City Centre. Because Docklands is where we're going. It's an awkward station, sort of, because it's only open in sort of the peak. The peak hours. And during the day, it just shuttles back between Clonsilla and between right? Clonsilla and, okay. and here in M3. Yeah. It's basically an old freight line that used to go down to the port. Right. For trains or for trains offloading things from right. from Navan from the the mines up in Navan. And you like trains, Chris? Hey, I'm all right. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind, I don't mind trains. You like railways? Oh yeah, they're grand. Okay. They're, they're grand. They're grand. That just means they're good here, right? Oh, they're great. They're great. There they're we great. go. There they're great. Go. Chris, thank you so much. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> if you know more about Empty Parkway, leave it in the comments below. Teach me, please. <laughs> How do I know? Right, that's the question that is asked. How do I know? We will shortly be arriving at Dublin. That's Dogland Station. That's the end of our day. It, feel, it feels like it's been a really long day. Sligo all the way into Dublin. Early start, very tired. 
Uh, day off tomorrow? No, because <laughs> it's the Dublin tram, tram, tram bonus video. <laughs> Back in Dublin for the weekend. Yay! Yeah? Yes, absolutely. Still loving it? How, I, I want to learn how I can tell the difference between the red and the green line. We'll find out tomorrow. See you then. <laughs>